since we started talking about the arrays and lists, I've mentioned many times that these methods were usable on both arrays and lists. It turns out that strings can also be treated as collections and the methods that I've been talking about can be called on strings in Scala. A string can be thought of as just a collection of, or a sequence of characters. And I want to see if filter for anything that is less than the letter L. Now I have to put this in single quotes because it is a character. There, each element of the string is a character. The result of this is probably going to surprise some people. Note that capital T comes out as less than L and space comes out as less than L because when you do comparisons between characters you get the you're basically comparing them based upon where they are in their encoding sequence which for most computers these days is ASCII or Unicode and so you can actually find out the Unicode value of a character or the ASCII value they're basically the same for, for these small numbers ASCII just stops at a certain point and Unicode keeps going uh, you can find that out by, call, by converting it to an int and one of the things that you will see if you play around with this is that all of the uppercase letters are smaller values than all of the lowercase letters which is why the capital T came out here but I can so I can filter on strings if I had defined so actually I could, I could put and I want to get all the vowels for a e i o u dot contains now for this one I feel like it will work best there we go so that pulled out all of the vowels from our string I could also map them so that I could uh, you know change the characters around in some way another method that's really helpful um, is called split and so the reason why split is handy is it breaks a string up into an array of strings and so a common use case for this would be I want to take a spring a string and split it up on the spaces so I have the single thing this is a test and it can be broken into this is a test the argument to split is technically a regular expression. That's a detail that we will get into much later. We'll actually introduce what regular expressions are, but that can have some interesting effects. Certain characters are gonna cause you issues here, uh, but it winds up giving you a lot of power once you know how the regular expressions work. So main key here is strings or collections. You can drop, you can take, you can map, you can filter, all the things that we've talked about doing with arrays and lists you can do with strings as well and you can also split a string based upon some regular expression to break it up and get the ind individual pieces.